it's quite celebratory in nature, uh, right? As I said, it is grounded in a, in a theme of celebration, um, not as a rat race of sorts. The topics that Noeta covers, now this is quite interesting because some of these you might've seen before, but some do have a very unique take in uh, Noetic. So in terms of uh, each grade, if we take a deep dive into one of them, uh, to each of them, sorry, grade through through eight, as you can see over here, if we compare it to the level of difficulty versus a math kangaroo, which I'm assuming a lot of you guys are familiar with, for those who are not, it is a little bit more challenging. Um, and I will explain the, uh, the level of depth to which no way it goes into. If you're not aware of math kangaroo, don't worry, uh, but you will be clear on that in the next uh, part of this. For those who have looked at MK before, as you can see, Broadly speaking, grades two through four, so grade two, three, and four. The level of difficulty for Noetic is comparable to say the three to four pointers of MK. And uh, at Think Academy itself, in our grade, in our curriculum, uh, as you can see in grade two, the stuff that Noetic covers, we cover in K through grade one. In grade three, we cover in grade one to two. So roughly a year to two years uh, ahead is the Think Academy curriculum. Now, this is not to say that Noetic is easy. It just means that uh, at the Academy, that is what we're at. So for all the parents who are with the Academy, who are participating today, uh, this is just to give you a sense of how much has already been taught and how much are you eligible um, to compete uh, in without really doing any prep. Uh, not doing any prep per se, but doing any external prep without the Academy. So what is very important to note is that even though it is a little bit less difficult than say a math kangaroo, and it would essentially remove all the five pointers, right? There are some very unique modules. For example, grade two, three, and four, the most difficult will be numbers and operations. Uh, they have a very unique way of posing these questions, uh, often are even more visual than math kangaroo, often are even more innovative than MK. In fact, I would say it's one of the most innovative competitions these are questions that are quite unique, and each year they somehow come up with a way of posing different kinds of questions. Uh, numbers and operations uh, is, is great, especially at an elementary stage, uh, because these are your fundamentals, right? And they're taught in so many different ways in Noetic that it is truly wonderful. So grade two, grade three, and grade four, it is a must, must attend competition. Noetic is hands down one of the most important ones for elementary school. Grade five through grade seven, this is not to say that you guys cannot attend it. It is also great for higher grades um, because especially if you're looking at other competitions like AMC eight, which are more prevalent, Noetic does serve as say the building blocks towards those uh, more accredited competitions. Uh, especially when you look at certain modules like counting and number theory, they have very, very innovative questions in Noetic. So if you do prepare for it, it is going to serve you well, not just for Noetic, but also for other competitions. For grade two, three, and grade four, it is a must, must, must attend. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. Let's look at some more similarities and differences between Noetic and Math Kangaroo. Noetic, there's an emphasis on word problems and logical reasoning. Math Kangaroo, it's a similar emphasis, but a little bit more in-depth uh, for geometry. Um, the level of geometry in Noetic is very base. Uh, it only relies on properties, basic uh, school level math, so it's not that challenging. Uh, so Math Kangaroo does have that uh, in its stock as well. In Noetic, the math is skewed towards building, say, good problem-solving foundations. As I said earlier, even though it is focused on the fundamentals, don't get carried away. This is not super easy by any means. Uh, it is still going to be ahead of the uh, U.S. private school core curriculum. And Math Kangaroo, of course, is skewed towards um, not building good foundations, but applying like previously perfected uh, problem solving strategy. So Noetic is good for students who are new to the concept of math competitions. Competition math questions are often very different and it's good for building that foundation. Math Kangaroo is, if you've looked at all different kinds of questions and you already have a set of uh, say 10, 20 strategies and you're great at problem solving, now it's just time for application. Noetic, the final five, there's 20 questions in Noetic. 
The final five are the most difficult. These are weighted towards word problems and logical reasoning questions. When I say logical reasoning questions, of course, this could be from geometry, from numbers and operations, from different lessons. But the essence of this is that logical reasoning questions are those that rely the least on learned knowledge, which means you don't have to learn any theory to solve this question. At the end of the day, it's a puzzle. So these sort of questions, the logical reasoning ones, are the ones that show up towards the end. They're the most difficult ones, and they're often in terms of a, a visual representation, some sort of diagram, which we will have examples of uh, in, in the latter part of the presentation. Math kangaroo, the five-point questions are weighted towards word problems. Again, noetic, very celebratory in nature, uh, often is wonderful to boost uh, kids' com uh, confidence at an early stage. Um, math kangaroo, however, is very competitive in nature. Both are good. Every student is at a different point in their mathematical learning. It's not to say that there one kid is, uh, every kid is, you know, at drastically different ability levels. When we get into Think Academy, what we notice is that for the students who come for an evaluation at grade two and grade three, uh, say the testing results is in a certain distribution, but in grade four, that distribution um, has a lot of numbers towards the tail ends. So that means really, in terms of ability per se, or demonstrated ability, the differences show up later. Um, at an elementary stage, early elementary stage, it's really about what level are you in your own journey. So kids are different, you gotta treat each kid differently. That's why for some kids, noetic is better, for some kids, math kangaroo is better. If you look at each grade, now this is just to give you guys an example of what kind of chapters, what kind of modules are we dealing with. Grade three has been selected as an example, uh, since we have a lot of students from there, other grades as well, but to give you an idea, we have conducted thorough analysis of all the past papers um, uh, for Noetic. We've also done that previously for Math Kangaroo very successfully with a significant majority of the Academy students being gold medalists. So we have a very good idea of what to expect in the um, questions. For Noetic at grade three, as you can see, word problems and logical reasoning are the majority of the questions. Logical reasoning are most frequently the final five most difficult ones. For geometry, it's very basic uh, area and perimeter, fundamental properties of squares, rectangles, basic geometry, and symmetry. For numbers and operations, that is the smallest chunk of the questions to be faced. It is the easy questions, and they're very straightforward to score in. And finally, the word problems that make up 50 to 60% of the questions. That is quite a bit. So if you look at word problems in grade three, that is made up of say time problems, multiplication division, pages, lineup and age problems. This is in grade three. Uh, when you go to grade uh, three, four, five, you'll also see combinations, a lot, a lot more combinatorics. So this depends on the grade, but this is just to give you an idea of the fact that we have a lot of different categories and we use these categories uh, to basically perfect our prep, uh, shall I say, because it's predictable in nature. What we do is just, we categorize all the different word problems. Each category has two to three strategies. And if we practice on those, we're pretty much prepared for word problems. Um, noetic, as I said, because 50 to 60% of the test will be word problems. This is also a great opportunity for students who are lacking in say critical reading, right? Who are at a very high level in terms of their basic calculations, operations, but you give them 10 lines and they don't know where to go about it. They don't know what is the most important part, what is inessential. If they end up reading their forget stuff before, barriers, conversions, your typical critical reading in terms of math comprehension. Uh, Noetic is a great opportunity because most of it will be word problems. Let's take an example, a few examples of each module. Uh, the calculation module, um, again, it is a fun competition. So it's not gonna be your typical, just have a four digit number and a three digit number and you know so on. This will be, this is an example of grade three. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a puzzle. They ask you to have some sort of pattern recognition. And the only way you solve it in reasonable time is to rely on your fast calculation, your number sense skills. 
word problem, the most important one. Each of them uh, will be uh, skewed differently uh, depending on the grade. As I said, grade three, for example, the one I showed you is just going to be uh, uh, heavily focused on multiplication division, such as question number 20. Um, but it's going to have certain problems that are very similar to math kangaroo as well, such as age problems, time problems. Um, an example for age problems would be, well, Jonathan and Sam are 10 years old. At how many years later will their sum of some of the ages double or triple? Something like that. There are a lot of different strategies you can use to do that. This is great uh, because it gives you a chance to improve your critical reading. And it is combined with a bunch of different modules, not just one. And usually the more difficult questions come from this as well. This is the most important one, logical reasoning. The overall focus for noetic is logical reasoning compared to other math competitions. Take that with a, a little bit of a caveat. Yes, of course, a majority still word problems. Again, what I mean by logical reasoning is that this is what makes noetic special. Uh, this is where the innovation in their questions comes in, right? Let me read just one question out for you. We're not going to solve it, uh, but just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, Corey, Frank, Greg, Seth, sit at a round table. Corey sits in a chair with number two. Corey and Frank sit facing each other. Greg sits right of Corey. What is the number on Seth's chair? This is not a difficult question. In Math Kangaroo, say this would be a three or a four point question, um, but it does rely on how do you navigate through a puzzle, not just a number puzzle, but uh, a word puzzle, right? Uh, sometimes some of these questions will take a lot of time. That is where the challenge lies, right? Because these sort of questions are not difficult. I would anticipate 99% of the students to get it. It's about how much time you're using for these questions. So this is a good opportunity, as I said, to work on your logical reasoning skills and cut through the fat, shall I say. Um, and there's a lot of practice material that we will go over uh, that will help the students improve, not just for noetic, but word problems and logical reasoning in general.